Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. Here's our dinner menu that we made together as a family. From there, I expanded to add in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch every day so I could make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. I don't think I'll need all of my bags today, but I'm just gonna bring them all in. I'd rather have too many than not enough. They're playing Christmas music. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, we need a restock of cereals. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Reese's Puff. Captain Crunch. Lucky Chan. Frosted Flakes. Whoops. Burrito Bells. You're quite good on shredded wheat. Some raisin Bran. That should be good for a restock. I have so many boxes of cereal in our pantry that have like, you know, two pieces of cereal left in them that need to go. I'm also gonna grab my oatmeal. This is what I usually have for breakfast if I don't have whatever the kids have. The cereals are mostly for Brie and Patrick. They are like huge cereal fans. They'll grab that for snack a lot. Um, they lived in a residential treatment facility for four years before they moved in with us and they like ate nothing but cereal. Like that's all they ate every meal. So when they moved in, we had to like try and expand their palate away from just cereal, but they still like cereal is their comfort food for sure. Um, but yeah, they do eat other meals now. So yeah, they've, they've grown a lot in that area. Let's get muffin mixes for this week. Blueberry, chocolate chip, coconut oil, Let's get Bodie's vanilla pudding. The kids have been wanting brownies, so let's get some brownie mix. Oh, which one, which one? Uh, let's get this fudge brownie mix. Let's get some fun cupcake liners. All right, we are out of hot cocoa mix. Discovered that the other day when the kids wanted hot chocolate. I had to make it with Hershey's syrup, so we also need Hershey's syrup. We need actually all of the syrups that they use for um, ice cream bar on Sundays. I got these last year, the kids did not like those. We are like good old fashioned Swiss mess. Let's see. Look at this big canister. Get this with the marshmallows too. More coffee. Okay, where are we at? We got muffin mixes. We got the coffee, we got the syrups. Now I am looking for the popcorn. There we go. So, I need this for the popcorn maker. And then I wanted to get some Christmas candy. How cute are those football hot cocoa bombs? Uh, there's so many choices. I 
I bought Christmas sprinkles on Amazon in bulk. So I don't need those. I'm just looking at all our choices here. Well, definitely some holiday Oreos. I have Christmas M&Ms already. Oh, maybe some cookies. Those look good. Christmas tree shaped pretzels. Those. I leave my cart. Does anyone else just wander away from their cart? Here we are. Okay. How are we for a little movie night snack board here? Should be good, right? Popcorn, some candy. I'll get some little mini candy canes. Oh, I wanted to see if they had like movie, I'll show you. No, I might have to go to the dollar store. Like the movie theater boxed candy. Look over here. Oh, there we go. Go. That's what I wanted. Okay, I mean, there's nothing like totally Christmassy. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the dollar store for that because I feel like they'll have like Christmassy dots, at least, at least Christmas dots. Okay, I gotta get orange soda. Uh -huh. Fanta orange soda, but Dash prefers sun kissed orange soda. I don't know the difference. There's some paper bags for the kids' snacks at school. Need more paper towels. And I might be nearly done with this cart. Also, need more paper plates. No, our construction is not done yet. Small balls and big balls. Stack up on those and top this start off with paper towels. I like this, um, choose a size ones. Cart's full. So we got the soda. Um, we still got boxed and canned stuff to get, so. Start there with the second cart. Okay, leave that here. Cart two. I had this grand idea to make turkey soup for soup night this week using the leftover turkey to like make the broth but then my husband threw out the turkey carcasses and the kids have been like devouring the leftover turkey so I still want to make turkey soup so I gotta buy turkey broth 
and then I'm just gonna buy a turkey breast and cook that up. It'd be all right, it'll be all right. Okay, turkey breast. I know, I can't believe I'm buying this after like we just had Thanksgiving. Oh, husbands. <laughs> all right, how much of this do I need? I think it was oh, 12 cups. I gotta look at my recipe. All right, I'm glad I looked. I need 16 cups of broth. So each one is four cups. So one, two, three, four times four is 16. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? And then I just wanted to get a thing of beef broth and a thing of chicken broth. Uh, we've just been using a lot of broths lately keep us stocked in that. Oh, and that reminds me, we are out of vegetable broth. Josh used it for the turkey brine. Okay. Stock up on our apple sauces the kids love. cups. I've got to be looking right at them. Yes. There we go. Down here. Apple sauce cups. We got the turkey broth and then we got the other broths. I didn't even write that down but yeah we needed apple sauces. Okay we need a bunch of sauces. We need this for making our pizza night. I'm going to make homemade lasagna. So I like this for the sauce. Four of those. And I, I'm good on my diced tomatoes and stuff because I got all of that um, at Costco. Shoot, that reminds me, I need more of those because I'm also doing meatball subs this week. I just remember thinking, I need a lot of sauce this week. I'm gonna get the fresh lasagna noodles, which was the whole reason I came to Wegmans this week. But I do need shells for the um, turkey soup. mushrooms and our choke hearts for making our pizza night. I am making taco burgers for taco night. I'm kind of excited about that. This is not the right aisle. I thought it was. Uh, where the heck would the mushrooms and our choke hearts be? It was two aisles over. I knew I had seen them. I love artichoke hearts on my pizza. And Patrick and I love mushrooms on our pizzas. Where are they? Oh, up there, of course. Okay, let's go grab the poultry seasoning. Yes, I just bought this. But we used it all on Thanksgiving, and I need some for the turkey soup. Let's go get all of the breads for the week. Okay, we need all the breads. So I need hot dog buns, hamburger buns, and then I wanted to get like some nicer ones for the um, taco burgers. First, I want to look at pizza crust options. Yes, they have our favorite ones. Pontos. Okay. Oh god. 20 pizza 
it's across. breakfast sandwiches this week, a dozen bagels, oh my gosh this smells so good, sandwich bread, four loaves of sandwich bread, then let's get the buns. Okay, what are our choices? Um, hmm. Okay, well, I know I need regular hot dog buns. For the meatball subs. Yeah, more than that though. Yes, not enough. Consolidate. Consolidate. Then I'm gonna get these for the taco burgers. Oh, they don't have regular hamburger buns anyways. Oh. So yes, that is it for this cart. Pizza crust, hot dog buns, hamburger buns. Okay, leave these up here, keep going. Yeah. All right, let's go get the meats and then produce and then we'll grab the dairy. Part three. Okay, ground beef. I need two. I need one for taco burgers. And just checking my meal plan. Okay, taco burgers and then Oh, shepherd's pie. That's right. Deshaun wanted shepherd's pie. So I ditched breakfast for dinner night and we're having shepherd's pie that night. Um, and then I like this meat mix for my homemade sauce and lasagna. I'm going to get two of these, which will be about oh, two and a half pounds, three ish pounds, two and Yeah, that's 
$9.99 a pound. If it's not a huge difference, I'm just gonna get the card. Oh, yeah, no, I can, for, for half the price, I can cut my own strips. Yeah, we'll do that. We're good. I want to do ribs soon. I almost put it on the menu this week and then I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to find baby back ribs. But yeah, they still have them. I feel like that's like a summer thing. Okay. I'm really not seeing turkey breasts. Are they completely wiped out of turkey breasts?
breakfast one day. So that is four rolls of biscuits. And then I also had it on the menu for another night. So I need three more. this week we still have vanilla almond milk I'm gonna get a thing of chocolate almond milk I'm out of whole milk don't need that much frozen so instead of like backtracking I'm just gonna grab it while I'm in this section of the store oh I didn't write it down I need pizzas Okay, not that one. 
Let's pretend we didn't see that. See? That's why you gotta check the bottom. Blue I am personally on a blueberry kick. I'm putting them in my oatmeal. And raspberries down here. Oh my gosh, Nana made the butternut squash that I bought for Thanksgiving. Oh, it was so good. She is a very good cook. situation today. They look weird, don't they? Let's just get green grapes today. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna get a thing of green grapes today. And then... When we go to get the turkey and the shredded nuts at the other Wegmans, we're gonna get more grapes because I put it on the meal plan in their lunches later in the week and I don't want them to go bad by then. My kids are back on an apple phase. I love when they're on apple phases. They like, that's like their go-to grab snack. So I try and always keep stocked bowls of apples on the counter all hours of the day and night. Okay, get some Portland. Get some, what else? Do they have Red Delicious? No, I'm sorry, Empire are my favorite. I don't see Red Delicious, so let's get Portland and Empire. Not that one. Okay, that's good. I have more tomatoes. I still have cucumber from the other week, from last week. Where's like the big thing of great tomatoes? There it is. choices, but you know. Okay. This feels like the bus bag. Bree is back on a banana phase. So, let's stock up. Although these bananas are not looking too good. She told me I bought two small of bananas last week, but those are like the only bunches that look decent. Just look at these. Yes, these ones are okay. Not like the best, but they'll do. And then I'll get this little one because Harley copies everything Bree does. So if Bree's gonna have a banana, Harley's gonna have a banana. So then she can have the little ones. Parsley for the turkey soup. Oh, she's staring right at it. The other one. Uh, oh, there it is. Get me first. Holy, oh, that is a. That's got to be two bunches. That's one bunch? I don't need that much. Again, I try and just 
just like give them a little squeeze, make sure they're not already soft and rotten. I am making roasted red potatoes this week. My kids love roasted red potatoes. So I'm going to get six pounds of potatoes. They're back by the herbs. Didn't even see them. Okay. checked out. I'm gonna drive over to the side door and load it in. And the sun is out. And my coffee's still here. Coffee break. Okay, we are all loaded in our 15 passenger van. I love that they used my new Buffalo Bills bags. Yeah, I didn't need nearly all of my bags today. It took not even two hours. Super impressive. Usually it takes me like two hours to shop and then 45 minutes to check out. But they started checking me out right as I was getting the produce there. Mainstream checkout. So that was amazing. Total time saver. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. And the kids are home. Patrick, he's in Nordic. It's like cross country skiing for the school, our school. And his coach has been sick, so he's not had practice. So his coach still wants him to like them to work out every day. So I'm just gonna be like, your workout is unloading four carts worth of groceries. <laughs> Cause that's a workout. Yeah, we got in and out of there. Where did I put the receipt? I'll show you the receipt. I'll show you the receipt when we get home. I cannot believe it will be December, the end of this week. Like that's wild to me. I haven't even started Christmas shopping. No, I take that back. I've gotten a couple things and they are shirts for Zoe that I bought anyways. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make these Christmas presents. She likes those Henley style shirts. All of my kids need, need clothes. Like they've all had growth spurts. The clothes that they bought in September, they are growing out of. Um, I spent a long time this weekend going through the twins dressers, taking out all of their size eights. They're way too small. They both, both grew tremendously. So we took out the eights and then I reorganized everything because it had been ransacked by nine-year-old twins. It was like everything in every drawer and yeah, reorganized it, put everything in its right drawer, refolded. Twins dressers are complete, um, but they need some more long sleeve shirts and pants. I had bought them some pants off Amazon, but they must run really small because they're just, they're not gonna make it through the winter. They're just a little snug. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna get all the kids clothes for Christmas. I don't really know what else. Have you guys shopped yet? Am I way behind? I didn't even do Black Friday shopping this year. There just like wasn't good deals on any of the stuff my kids asked for. So I was like, mm. I feel like there was not that many good Black Friday deals this year. Maybe it'll be Cyber Monday. We'll see. 
maybe that's when they're saving all the deals for. This week, Brie has a chorus concert, so we have to go dress shopping. Not sure where to go. I don't know. Where has like cute dresses right now that are not like so hard to buy for I know I've said this before but like I feel like once you get into women's size clothing it's like this no my 12 year old does not need like a sexy dress they just need like something cute <laughs> yeah so shopping for dresses is usually a challenge although gonna take her shopping and look because she likes that kind of stuff. Get her nails done. My elementary kids. So Dash, Jordan, Jason, Bodie, Harley have two half days of school this week. They just had like five days off of school and now they go back and have two half days. It's gonna be a crazy week. Here is today's receipt. And I am home, so I'm going to let you go here. But thank you for coming shopping with me today. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.